I'm not so willing to go easy on faith as some people seem to want to. Spanish Inquisition, the thinking was, or the alleged thinking was, well, yeah, we're going to slice this guy to pieces before um, burning him at the stake and subjecting him to the most horrific tortures imaginable. But that's nothing compared to what he faces if we don't do this. Because if we don't inflict hellish punishments on him prior to killing him, um, he's going to roast in hell for all eternity. What's just a few little, you know, minor tortures here? In the face of infinity, what we're doing to this guy is nothing. That's the downside of faith, you see. Um, they have blind faith that God is good, and uh, provided we can get people to believe him, it doesn't really matter what horrible things we do. I would actually say that blind faith is probably responsible for just about every religious crime that has ever existed, that has ever taken place. It's entirely possible that I'm strawmanning the anti-natalists when I say that they seem to believe that life isn't worth living. Well, now you're strawmanning them when you imply that they have some broken perspective. Either emotionally they're broken, or that they're intellectually broken, or that they're somehow not seeing the truth the right way because they got some kind of black glasses on. It's that kind of insult to their integrity as thinkers and as feelers and as human organisms that is really, really irritating. Yeah, it's insulting is what it is. You've insulted their integrity. Do you think you can just do that without having them fight back? You haven't attacked their arguments regarding antinatalism. You've attacked their credibility as thinkers, and that's really, really, really petty. And I'm going to show you how, I'll show you how, well, I could, I, could, yeah, I can show you how that looks. We better understand what we're getting into when we start playing with these things, when we start accepting these things. They can be good things, but they can also be extremely dangerous and destructive things. Like anything else, um, like any other tools, they can be benefits, they can be hazards. Faith can be a benefit, faith can be an extreme hazard. Thank you. Faith that whatever idea you follow means life is good, life is worth it, life is worth the effort. That's an act of faith. Saying that life is worth the hassle, life is worth living. Having faith in a God like that is not only somewhat insane and Orwellian, if you ask me, um, but it has real-world implications. With blind faith often comes blind acceptance of dogma, blind acceptance of someone else's explanation of the nature of the universe. Seems quite obvious what this guy is selling. He's talking about there being no harm in the world because he wants to do harm, quite obviously, right? That could be the only reason. Why would somebody say there's no such thing as harm? I think it would be because they want to do harm. They want a permission to do harm. Smiling Andy, you're full of shit. We better understand what we're getting into when we start playing with these things, when we start accepting these things. They can be good things, but they can also be extremely dangerous and destructive things. Like anything else, um, like any other tools, they can be benefits, they can be hazards. Faith can be a benefit, faith can be an extreme hazard. Thank you.